observe yourself. What are you seeing? But not to be serious. Oh, I'm, I'm you know, usually many times people are like very uh, analytical. Well, how, when, what year you were born? What sign you are in? It drives me crazy, you know. <laughs> Immediately in the mood of like analyzing somebody, you're supposed to be something like that. You know, you don't watch yourself how you are trying to make something probably out of nothing. So you, you just look the very moment when you're looking at somebody, you're really, as much as you're looking at somebody, you have opportunity to look at yourself. And far more interesting is looking at yourself than looking at somebody. Because looking at somebody is the mountain. Mountain can go higher up and lower down and become a fatter and thinner. Beca it depends on how you're perceiving yourself. So the base, when we're talking about the base, is very much like that very moment when you're able to rest in that deep abiding space. That is the way the mountain is changing. Mountain can go higher, mountain can go lower, mountain can be a problem, mountain can be beauty. The, your, the way you are being in that base is you're shifting your reality. So if you are able to be, and then being moves without affecting being, and then being able to see without affecting being, then you see some beings, the truth in appearances, what is. And what is, is always perfect. What is, what is, is always no, nothing wrong about what is. Always, what, what, when you are um, projecting on something what is, then, then you are having uh, reaction, um, response, and uh, conflict, pain, challenges, all are coming from how you are perceiving it, because how you are perceiving, how you are experiencing yourself. So this is practice is very much what I'm seeing here. It's not only acting, acting, but it's also what seeing. Does that make sense? Is the differences between meditation and action? Okay, I'm trying to be very mindful while I'm moving, but it's not that. You know what I'm seeing out from out there. I'm seeing different. I'm looking at my life. My life is different. You can, if you say, if you begin to say, I see my life completely different than I used to see. That's what you want, right? How do you see your life completely different? Because you feel yourself differently. You're different. You feel you're feeling different. You're seeing different. But very often. Big problem in our life is something that we're never trying to change the way we perceive or we feel ourselves, but we're constantly trying to change somebody or something or situation in life. It's a full time work. And never success, there's no success. And sometimes we change a lot of things. We sign contracts that we hate, we agree on things that we don't like. We accept things that we don't like to accept. That these are agreements. This is an effort. But they're not spontaneously arising a sense of beauty, peace, joy. It's not like that. A collective professional, collective family pain are agreeing on something. And we, many big part of our life, kind of we live through those experiences, and then we feel maybe that's the only way to do it. But it's not the only way to do it. 